Hello, my name is Nicholas Ambrose, and I would like to discuss a fascinating little study on the novel concept of the slipperiness of a banana peel, the classic cartoon trope that is so fondly remembered in every Saturday morning cartoon. So in 2015, a Japanese group of researchers uh, finally put this theory to the test and wanted to objectively and quantitatively determine the slipperiness of a banana peel. This was run by Kiyoshi Mabuchi, Rina Sakai, Mika Hona, and Masanobu Ujihira. Essentially, they first started out by testing the coefficient of friction by using a metal plate and putting a banana peel on it while increasing the angle perpendicular to the ground. Essentially, they took a plate and they slowly increased it until the banana peel fell under the force of gravity, unto which they predicted they would be able to solve for the coefficient of friction, but only turned out that the angle was actually greater than 45 degrees needed for the banana peel to actually start slipping. This would imply that the coefficient of friction was greater than 1, which is a very large value and completely unreasonable in the realm of physics, considering the friction of a shoe sole on wooden floor is only about 0.4. So, moving on, they decided to take a more practical approach by setting the banana peel as if it was being stepped on by a shoe. In order to do this, they used a multi-axial low transducer, which was a device able to measure the friction coefficient based on what was being put on top of it. And they simply just put a banana peel on the device, shoe on top, and they kind of just moved it around. <laughs> and the device was able to calculate that the banana peel had a coefficient of friction of 0 0.06, which is equivalent to the surface of ski on snow or an ice skate blade on ice. And from this novel result, we found out that, yes, banana peels are significantly slippy. About six times greater coefficient of friction than that of a shoe sole on normal wooden floors. Well, the more you know.